Hey y'all, it's Caitlin. Thank you so much for watching. I wanted to jump on here, probably not so quickly, and do my week 14 update. Um, I'm post-op from vertical sleeve gastrectomy. I believe it's 14 weeks out. Um, I had my VSG surgery on October 12th, 2015. Um, today is January 18th, 2016. So I'm about 14 weeks out and do, 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 do. let's do the stats. Do you like that? Mm, I love that when you have lipstick on and it's like, gross. Can you see that? Anyways, let's do the stats. So I started um, this process back in July of last year at 335 was my high weight. Um, weight on the date of surgery was 300.8. This last week I weighed in at 253. This morning I weighed in at 248.2, which I love. I love because um, my sister got married on Saturday. The days leading up to that were not... Um, super on plan and I knew that was going to happen. I kind of anticipated that. Um, but I still had a loss and I'm super excited. I'm so thankful. And it's almost a five pound loss. Like that's crazy. Loving it. So, um, like I said, my sister got married on na, 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 Saturday. Today's Monday. She got married on Saturday. It was a beautiful wedding. Um, I was the maid of honor and I had taken Wednesday, Thursday, Friday off from work just to help her get things done. Then I also had to get things done. We had the rehearsal dinner on Thursday. Um, and Friday was like her bachelorette kind of deal. We went to, we took her and the bridal party and um, my mom, the groom's mom, and then some of the relatives um, of the groom, like the her sister, soon to be sister-in-laws, things like that. We went to the nail salon, got pedicures and manicures. Um, I got my manicure done separately. I got it done on Thursday before the, uh, rehearsal dinner because, I, I needed my girl to do me up right. Look, look at that. Are you dying? Are you just dying? I am dying. In case you didn't know, I'm dying. Um, so we took my sister that night to get a manicure and pedicure. Then we went to a restaurant called The Melting Pot. Really neat place. Really expensive place. Uh, if you've never been to it, it's like a fondue restaurant fondue thing I don't know they make the fondue they have like a cheese fondue and then they have like a hot plate where you make your own entree and then they have the chocolate fondue after that's where you know my biggest indiscretions come into play um I did have alcohol I had like a half a glass of wine at the rehe wedding rehearsal dinner I had a winter berry mojito at the at the melting pot on Friday it was delicious I was like I'm not gonna really order anything then I tasted my sister's drink and I was like I'm ordering me one of those it was so good um, I didn't really feel the effects of it though. Like half a glass of that wine, I had sparkling Moscato on that Thursday and I was feeling it. I didn't really feel the effects of the mojito though, which I thought was strange. But um, one thing I will say is when I'm out like um, socially trying to figure out how to drink and then like, oh shit, can I eat now? Like I'm supposed to wait like 45 minutes after I drink something, but like I'm going to miss the entree. I'm going to like, it was just really awkward. Even at the wedding, like the wedding dinner, I was like, eating and then I was like oh my god I don't feel good and I just it's because I just drank some of my alcoholic beverage and I ate like I wasn't as focused as I normally am because I don't know I don't know I just wasn't um so I did have the mojito and then we had cheese fondue um which I had with like veggies which was good they brought out bread and stuff but I stayed away from that they had a salad course which I did not partake in because I haven't tried salad yet I've heard it's kind of be it can kind of be hit or miss with um weight loss surgery patient patients so, um, I just decided yeah, salad, it's not worth getting sick over, right? I don't even like salad anyway. So, um, then they had the chocolate. We skipped the entrees altogether because A, it was like so expensive and B, people were like, we just want chocolate. <sighs> that was, that was, that's what's got me guys. That's what got me. So they, we had four like fondue plates because there were a bunch of us. One of it was like a fudge fondue. One was like salted caramel fondue. Ours was called cookies and cream. And like people were like trying all the fondues. But the one that they put in front of me, of course, was the cookie and cream. I thought it was like a white chocolate, which I hate. So I was like, okay, I'm not going to have it. No, 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 no. It was a chocolate, dark chocolate fudge with um, fluff. I don't know if you know what fluff is. New Englanders know what fluff is because we have fluff or nutter sandwiches, peanut butter and fluff. But it's like a whipped marshmallow spreadable spread it's like it's delicious it's so good um so they put a big old dollop of that in there then they flambeed it and they put out the fire with oreo cookies and that was right next to me 
they brought out like rice crispy treats like little tiny like one inch cubes of like rice crispy treats and pound cake and cookies and brownies they had some bananas they had some strawberries so I was like let's be a little good I'll start off with some strawberries and some bananas even though it's really sugary like I'm dipping it into liquid sugar right now who cares and then I was like I'm just gonna have a rice crispy treat I was like no ma'am I'm gonna uh, this is my past today is my past I'm gonna let me live so I had rice crispy treat then I had a cookie like I had probably six or seven little dessert things dipped in this heaven didn't make me sick I didn't dump at all like not at all which I was a little bit sad about um but I didn't dump the only, you know it was just over too sweet for me I haven't had sugar like that since before surgery so it was like way overly sugary um so that was like the only thing that got me but it was delicious and I definitely I enjoyed every little morsel that I intake and took intaked and took um that I ate so um yeah that was that I made sure because the first the days proceeding or leading up to the wedding I knew we're going to be really kind of running around getting errands done making sure I got ready getting everything that I needed packed for the wedding I made sure to stock up on the p3 protein packs so I had a lot of those in my fridge that I was bringing with me I had brought a lot of um I got some extra premier protein drinks and I like Ziploc baggied some decaf coffee and I made sure to bring all those with me so um I would have the protein and things like that I had water bottles that brought excuse me um that I brought with me to make sure that I was still keeping up with my protein intake throughout the days that I wasn't kind of losing track of time um so I was trying to be really good about that um in addition to kind of not being so good about my decisions with chocolate um the day of the wedding was uh kind of stressful the wedding was at five i was doing the bride's makeup my makeup my two sisters makeup then my mom brought in a professional makeup artist for the other bridesmaids and like i'm sitting there like holy shit i'm not professional what am i i'm doing this wrong like she's judging me oh my god she's looking at me while i'm like putting on the blush am i doing it wrong is this the wrong blush? is this the wrong brush that i'm using? like so retarded but i was just really stressed and then she was doing people like wham bam thank you ma'am and i was like okay, like still doing like the primer on my first broad, like, come on. So I was really stressed that morning. I stayed overnight with my sisters and, um, their bridal suite. Cause you know, she just wanted to have her sisters around. And then we woke up and went to Panera. I had a spinach and bacon souffle, which I didn't even eat half of, but it was delicious. And then I had a protein drink, um, like around lunchtime. They had ordered pizza. I didn't have any of that, but that's all I ate for the day. Like I said, wedding was at five. Um, and around 4.30 when we were finally, no, we left around 4.30. So like 4 o'clock-ish, the bridesmaids were done. My sister was getting her, the bride was getting her hair done. We um, did a shot of tequila. So I did the shot of tequila. And man, I'm telling you, within five minutes, I was like, um, like seeing double vision. I was like, I was ready to rock. Like I was, I was ready. Um, so that was a lot of fun. It did definitely wear off really quickly. Like by the time I was walking down the aisle. So, um like 45 minutes to like an hour later obviously an hour later I was just like normal but it was it was fun it was a good experience with my sisters and the bridesmaids and everything um and we got some good pictures out of it but yeah I definitely um felt the effects of the hard alcohol much quicker than I did like the mixed drink or um even the wine so I knew that going into this it was just about three months out of surgery was my sister's wedding so that was always what I said when I would really try alcohol for the first time, I wanted to have a good time. I wanted to get drunk. Um, I didn't really get drunk. I didn't drink that much at the wedding uh, itself. So um, I think I was just too, like I was just tired. I was exhausted. So um, yeah, so I, I drank and I ate some foods that I shouldn't have eaten. But overall, it was a really great, a really great time. Um, really great memories were made. We blindfolded my sister and took her to a strip club. And the stories that I could tell you on that place that was crazy I've never been to a strip club it was a female strip club never been to a strip club and it was kind of crazy they brought my sister on stage tried to get her to take her shirt off because like okay like she's a normal girl she's not a stripper she's not used to that but the girl was like let me see your boobs I need to use you to make money and my sister's like whoa no no so that was fun um but yeah so I'm really pleased with the almost five pound loss like really pleased um I will tell you that um one thing i was kind of reflecting on the morning after yesterday morning um was the dresses that we had were strapless they were sleeveless and i never wear anything sleeveless 
and it's because you know I have the big old floppy arms always have I also have a um, scar in my arm I had surgery when I was like four and it's a really big scar it's um, like that I had to have uh, I have a skin graft on my arm so it's really not attractive um, and it like indents in if you can see it here it's just not cute so I never wear sleep um, sleeveless clothes I never wear sleeveless clothing, um, but the dresses we had were sleeveless. And honestly, I didn't even think twice about it. I didn't feel uncomfortable at all. Um, I was just, I feel really, I feel really good. Like really proud of where I'm at in my weight loss journey. It's not like, ooh, girl, I look good. Like, look at me. It's not that kind at all. It's like, I'm really proud of where I've come. I am so thankful for this sleeve, for changing my life. Like, I literally I told you guys in my New Year's tag that my cardigan was my most worn item of 2015. It's my most worn item of my entire life because I never will be caught without a cardigan. And I didn't feel uncomfortable. I wasn't like self-conscious about the pictures. I wasn't self-conscious walking down the aisle like holding my flower so that like the fat spread like on my arm so they were like super wide. I just I didn't feel anything about it. I didn't think twice about it. And then I was able to as soon as the wedding was over... We were eating, the music came on, I went right out and I danced with my family. I danced with my sisters, I danced with my children, and I broke, like, I had a blast. And I wasn't self-conscious, I didn't feel bad, I didn't feel, like, ugly. I felt really confident and I felt really beautiful and I felt really just proud of how far I've come emotionally and physically. It's just, it literally blew my mind to think about where I was even six or seven months ago. Like, no way, I, no way just really proud of how far I've come throughout this journey um and it's all thanks to this this decision to have the sleeve um it's changed my life and so dramatically I feel so much more confident just in who I am like out in public but also you know with my boyfriend I feel so much more confident and um beautiful I feel it's just amazing I haven't weighed this weight since I was in college I haven't been below 250 since before I was in college. Like, this is crazy. Yeah, my body looks way different than what it did when I was in college. Um, I've been tanning for the uh, the wedding. And so all my stretch marks, you can see those stretch marks really well. They are on display. But I'm almost like, no, I don't care. Like, I just don't care. I don't, I'm not one to take my shirt off in front of my boyfriend. I don't want him to see the gut. I don't care. Right? I don't care. I was getting ready for the wedding and I had a strapless bra that I had to wear. Um, the dresses were so beautiful. They were like um, almost like a sweetheart top, but then it was all mesh up here. So we couldn't wear bras um, or regular bras. So I had a strapless bra and I was in my pajama pants in the bathroom trying to put on the strapless bra that I bought just not knowing. I'm usually uh, a 44 double or triple D and I bought a 44 D um, for, or double D for the wedding, 42 double D for the wedding. And um, hadn't tried it on until the day of the wedding because I got it in like the day before. And it was way too big. Like I was like, oh, what am I going to do? Like I knew my boobs were too small, but I didn't know that they were that small. So I had my younger sister and my two younger sisters, all of my sisters are much thinner than I am and like gorgeous, have amazing bodies. But my two youngest sisters are like stick thin. So I had one of my sisters come in. I didn't have a shirt on. I had my pajama pants on and I was like, you know what? Don't mind the the stretch marks and the fat it is what it is and she's like you look amazing Caitlin like don't apologize you look amazing never in my life have I allowed somebody to see me like that not my sisters because you know what they're stunning they are gorgeous none of my sisters my mom nobody because they all had they're all thinner than I am they all look better than I do and that's how I've seen it in the past in my eyes they're they're absolutely stunning beautiful women and have better bodies than I do but at this point I'm so proud to be so far from where I was six, seven months ago that I don't give a, I don't give a rat's ass who's looking at me, okay? I am proud of the progress that I've made and you know what? It is what it is. So I was just so thankful. Also on the note where my sister came in to help me with the bra, I stuffed an entire box of tissues in my bra to make it fit me. An entire box had to go into my bra. So that was really depressing, but it is what it is. I was like ripping tissues out of my bra to help my sister like throughout the night she was crying and I was like here let me help you it was just it was so um I'm just I'm literally moral of the story is I am so happy with where I am at life right now if I didn't lose another pound I'd be okay I literally would be okay with my life my grandpa my grandparents were asking me how much more I wanted to lose and I was like 
70 pounds maybe I'd like to get down to 170 but I don't even know what that looks like I don't know if I have to get to that point or if 180 is gonna look okay or 190 I have no idea um I'm just kind of going where my body wants to go and like I said if I stop here I feel amazing I feel proud confident I feel comfortable in my skin I'm happy to go out and play with my kids to dance with them I'm so excited to go to the beach with them and amusement parks and things like that uh this upcoming summer I just I'm just really excited. So let's end this 16 minute long video. Hopefully I can edit out the part where I had to yell at my children for interrupting me for the millionth time. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you guys are doing well. Stalls happen. Things happen. Don't get down on yourself. Know that this, it's going to move forward. You're going to move on and you're going to do an amazing job. You, I mean, it's just amazing the things that this surgery will do for you if you're contemplating it. I can't tell you what to do, what's right for you and your body and your lifestyle and your situation. I can just tell you that I've never been more happy with where I am in my life than I am right now. I've never been more thankful for anything in my entire life. Um, spending my whole life as an overweight, morbidly over, overweight, morbidly obese woman, this is the best thing that's ever happened to me. I, I am so thankful. I'm so grateful that I had the opportunity to do this and that I had the balls to follow through with it. So... Again, as usual, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them down below. If you don't want to leave it down below and you want to email me, please feel free to do so. Also, can we check out the collarbone that pops through occasionally? Hi, hi. Like, seriously, life is good right now. So please feel free to comment down below. Leave me whatever you'd like to leave me. Questions, comments, concerns, video ideas. Like I said, I want to be better at filming and then I'm happy to do like the makeup related videos that you guys want I just don't want them to be crappy for you guys because that's just horrible so thank you so much for watching I really love you guys have a great day I just yeah thanks for watching love you guys bye